Hello, my name is Rachel Blankenship and I am one of the lead workers for Double R Arts Youth Theatre. Double R Arts is a youth arts charity and we work with young people and children aged between the ages of 7 and 18. We have four regular groups that run out of Priory Lane Community Centre in Penwitham, usually on a Monday and Tuesday evening. However, Due to the current COVID-19 pandemic, all of our sessions are being run virtually. So when Progress Housing Group approached us and asked us to be involved in their Hate Crime Awareness Week, we knew that this project would give us a fantastic opportunity to do something using modern technology and show how drama can still be used even when we can't be in the same room. This project has also allowed us to have some very deep and meaningful discussions with our older young people about what hate crime means to them and how it's prevalent in today's society. We knew that by approaching this project with care and consideration, we would be able to get our ideas across in a way that many people would be able to understand and hopefully learn a little bit more about. Our dramatised films focus on having a better understanding of people's choices, situations and cultures can make a positive difference in the way that situations can be handled. We have created four drama pieces for you. One focuses on gender identity, another focuses on language barriers, another focuses on sexual orientation and finally one focuses on ethnicity. The scene you are about to see has been developed and performed by our members of our youth theatre. We hope that you enjoy and thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Eloise and I'm a member of the Blair Arts Senior Youth Theatre. The scene that you are about to see shows how easy it is to assume someone's gender identity based on how they look or even their name. According to statistics, 0.4% of the UK population identifies as non-binary. Non-binary is an umbrella term used for those people who don't identify themselves as male or female and sometimes prefer the pronouns they or them over he or she when they're being addressed. The singer Sam Smith came out as non-binary in 2019, saying he's not male or female and believes in gender fluidity. Watch my fellow Double R Arts members, Josie, Elise, Darcy, Josie and Vinny, demonstrate some of the issues faced by those that identify as non-binary. This is their scene, Validity. Okay everyone, I'm just going to do the register. Do we have Josie? Um, yes, miss. Uh, Darcy? Uh, yeah, miss. Uh, do we have Vinny? Yes, miss. Do we have Amber? Yes, miss. Uh, do we have Felicity? Um, actually, miss, sorry, it's Harry. I go oh. by they pronouns now and um, I changed my name to fit that better. Sorry, I, I don't understand how you could change your name. Oh, okay. So I don't identify as the gender that I was born with anymore and but my name doesn't fit the fact. But how could one go as they? You can't be more than one person. Exactly, Mrs. It's all make-believe. Uh, miss, people who don't identify as male or female choose to go by they them pronouns. If you can gender a dog, you can gender a human being. Exactly, like, come on, why can't we just like all accept each other for who we are? Yeah, miss, it's, uh, it's like totally normal. Uh, someone in my family goes by they them pronouns and it's, yeah, it happens. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think I just misunderstood. Um, is there anything I could do? How do I use these pronouns? Uh, okay, so if you don't know a person's um, correct pronouns, you use they, them in the place of the pronouns. So say if you were talking to someone, you always say that that was a lovely person or they were really nice at the end of the phone call. Um, maybe try using that for people that you don't know the gender of. 
Thank you. I'm so sorry if I offended you. It's okay, don't worry, you didn't know. i 